Marriage requires real effort, and our couples have to be fully committed. They need to fight for their marriage. They need to fight for love. So it's been a substantial amount of time since Cody and you were married at first sight. Tell me about that day. I was so nervous. I was, I, that, it all hit me that day, that moment. And when those doors finally opened, I was like, just him. I was like blocking out everybody else. Like, who is this guy? And um, I thought he was very handsome. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> It was a very cool moment, but I was still very nervous. What are some of the best moments from your marriage? I think just the being silly together, the playfulness is fun. So I think um, some of the highlights definitely were, I mean, St. Thomas was a lot of fun. Oh Oh my my gosh. gosh. This is insane. Look at the beach. Now it's moving. Yeah, now we're good. Are you nervous? Oh, like I'm excited. Yeah. I'm not as nervous as I was marrying a stranger, so I feel like let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> what is that one for you? <laughs> Has marriage been what you expected? No. <laughs> so different than I think I could have imagined not being in it. And just the work and dedication and what that means. It's been a lot, a lot. What has been the biggest challenge in your relationship? Getting out of the, the friend zone. I don't want to be just friends with you. You're my wife. I want to be romantic and stuff like that, but I want to like be on the same wavelength as you. I am working on that. That is one of my things I am working on. You're not my friend, you are my husband. Why do you think that you go to the friend zone as opposed to the passion and the romance zone? The beginning, was, I didn't know Cody yet, and he's a wonderful person, but I, I, I was like, oh, he's handsome, this is great. And, you know, you're, you're, there's such a buildup to meet each other, and, you know, this potentially this could be my person. And so we just kind of, you know, went with it, but then as I got to know him, I, I really don't just want a handsome person. There's, there's, I want that connection, I want that person to feel like my other half. What is your greatest hope for this relationship? My greatest hope for the relationship right at this point is that we will both be happy in whatever that is. I think a strength of Cody and Danielle's relationship is there is a lot of emotional comfort, even if they're not having sex. They really take pleasure in each other's company. Well, it is great to see you both on the couch together, and we want to catch up and hear what's been going on with the two of you. So... Can you describe for us how married life has been since the experiment portion of your marriage has ended? I mean, I think married life has been a balance of trying to figure out, you know, how we work with how we worked (laughs) prior to being married. So how the marriage looks, um, bringing that all together. Yeah, I think it's been hard to just figure out everything and we probably haven't executed (laughs) as well as we should have. And it's, (laughs) it's both our fault for sure. And the question that everyone wants to know is, have the two of you had sex yet?